Hello, it's Alex and welcome to Hey Little Thrifter. Today I'm going to be sharing my most recent book haul. I ended up not buying any books this past month, but I have acquired them anyway. <laughs> the first little stack of books that I have are ones that I won in a giveaway, which was really cool. Someone that I follow there, Ron Clinton, I will leave his Twitter linked below, you should go check him out, he's a big horror fan and is always posting awesome books in his collection and he was doing a giveaway of a few different kind of batches of horror and sci-fi books and I entered and was very lucky to win one of them. So first up is The Book of the Damned by D.A. Fowler. I've mentioned her a few times on my channel, I've read a couple of her books and really enjoyed them. Really great early 90s horror with a dark sense of humour. And yeah, this is one of hers that I haven't read yet, so I was super stoked to have this. The original editions of her books like this are out of print and pretty hard to find, so yeah, this was an absolute score. So. Thank you so much, Ron, for sending this my way. I'm really excited to read it. Next up is this one with this pretty amazing cover. It is book two of the Night Hunter series by Robert Falcon. I think that might be a pen name, but I can't remember who for. And this book two is The Talisman. So yeah, I might have to track down book one and give this series a go because it looks really fun. Next is Lost Boys by Orson Scott Card. This is a bit of a chunker actually and it does have this pretty creepy cover with some step back art and yeah this one seems to be about a young boy and some imaginary friends which is always creepy. Next is Greeley's Cove by John Gideon and I actually already have a copy of this but there are a few titles that I have kind of accumulated duplicates of so I've been meaning to do a giveaway for ages and I just haven't gotten around to it but one of these days it will happen and I will keep you posted. Next is The Murder of Jesus Christ by John R. Little and I'll be honest I had not heard of this author before but this seems quite interesting. And last up from that batch is Remains by Andrew Cole. This was another one that I was really surprised to receive. This is Andrew Cole's debut novel, which I believe came out, I want to say, end of last year. I believe it is about grief. So, yeah, I think horror novels about grief can be some of the best ones, and I've heard really good reviews for this one. And the other books I have to show you are all birthday gifts that I received. It was my birthday last weekend and yeah, I was very spoiled with books from my husband, my mum and my sister. So yeah, big thanks to them, they're all amazing. And my husband also got me this t-shirt, it's a Point Horror one for the cemetery, which is great, one of the best covers and also one of the best horror pen names. D.E. Afkins. Yeah. So in no particular order, although I have grouped like authors together, but first up is Relics by Sean Hudson. I haven't read any of his stuff yet and I'd really like to and yeah my sister found this one in a charity shop for me. I think the bad boy of horror blurb on the front is amazing and the first line of the synopsis on the back is when a hidden chamber filled with the skulls of children is discovered I'm like yeah cool say no more. I've got Strange Conflict by Dennis Wheatley. I have read one Dennis Wheatley novel before and really quite enjoyed it so I'm pretty happy to have another of his books on my shelves. My husband found a couple of Christopher Pike books in thrift shops for me. So first up is Remember Me, one of the classic YA horror covers. The ones in the UK that I remember were very different in style to the US ones. Uh, I really like both in their own different ways, but yeah, finding the US ones is really cool. I just love the bright colours of them. Yeah, I think they're really fun. And also The Season of Passage, which I believe is one of his adult novels rather than his YA stuff. I'll be honest, this isn't one I'm familiar with, but I look forward to giving it a read sometime. 
I've been wanting to read some Stephen Gregory for quite a while now. He's a British author and my mum very kindly tracked down a couple of his books for me. So really pleased to have these. First up is The Cormorant, which I think is probably his most famous novel. And yeah, it's just a wee little thing. So definitely you want to read this before too long. And then the other one that I have is The Wood Witch, which has this pretty terrifying cover art. These both sound right up my alley, so I'm really looking forward to reading them. My husband got me a Kathy Koja novel that I haven't read yet. This is Kink, and yeah, I have absolutely loved everything of hers that I've read so far, so I'm very happy to have this one too, and yeah, I know it's going to be amazing. And he also got me this really awesome vintage anthology called Women in Darkness. This is edited by Catherine Patasek. I'm sorry, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Apologies if I mispronounced it. But this is one that I've had on my wish list for quite a while. I love reading horror written by women, specifically from like the 80s and 90s, that kind of era. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. And last but not least, another of my favourite authors, Bernard Taylor. I now have three more of his novels that I haven't read yet, so really happy with those. We have Madeline, which has this really awesome cover. It's all embossed, if you can see that. And it's about twin sisters, so yeah, already I'm excited for this one. I've got The Kindness of Strangers, which is about an actress and an obsessed fan, so yeah, that's always a good premise. And this one doesn't have a dust jacket, but it is Mother's Boys, and this one, I know there was a film adaptation starring Jamie Lee Curtis, which I haven't seen yet, I've been waiting to read the book first, but yeah, I have it, I found it in a thrift store a while ago on VHS and snapped it up, but yeah, at some point I'm going to read the book, then I can watch the film, and yeah, I'm excited for both. So those were all of the books that I received from lovely people in the month of March. Thank you everyone who contributed to my book addiction. Um, yeah, my birthday uh, was last weekend and it was a very quiet one, uh, staying at home. I could pretend that I had a big party that I had to cancel, but I think we all know that that would be a lie. Uh, but yeah, staying in is totally my cup of tea. So yeah, it wasn't exactly a hardship to have to stay in and watch horror films and eat pizza, so it was fun. And I do have a vlog for my birthday that is up on my channel if you want to go check it out, it was pretty fun to make. I hope you are all doing well and I hope that everyone is staying safe. These are strange times indeed and, you know, we're all just having to adapt to the current situation. But yeah, I hope you're all doing okay. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video.